Hello, hi, welcome to another Glide tutorial. Uh, today, I want to show you how, how to use a swipe and how to use the detail style on Glide. Swipe and the detail style. For other, for other type of style, you can go back and watch our previous video. It's right there. I've, sh I've showed you how to use the list, the tiles, the calendar, the map, the checklist, and the card style. This, this screen that we're on currently is the card style. And that was the last video we had a while ago. So today I want to show you how to use the swipe. The swipe mostly when you want to give users two options, swipe left, swipe right. You click on the swipe. That's, that, that's the majority of what you have to do. Just click on the swipe and you're able to, you know, swipe right or swipe left. So your users are able to just, you know, swipe. So I'm, using, I'm doing this on the desktop, so it's giving me some type of trouble. Now I'm not able to swipe because I'm using a desktop, which is not good, but I don't know what's happening right now, but I can swipe sometimes, and sometimes it just wouldn't swipe. So that's just the way it is. You've seen Tinder, right? You've seen those Tinder-like application. That's the way you just you know swipe stuff around the screen. You can see it's just one bold card on it. Think of it. Swipe is a detail swipe. The swipe style is just a detail screen with the ability to swipe things around. That's what it is. <laughs> Nothing else. That's just what it is. So you see. This, but when you're, when you're doing it, you're able to manipulate your data based on what it swipes. So if they swipe left, what do you want them to do? If they swipe right, what do you want them to do? So say for example, you're building a dating application, you're saying, if, if, if you swipe left, add it to the list of people you like, you know, your favorite. If you swipe right, add it to people you don't want to talk to. So it's quite similar. So if I swipe left, Add it to people I want to talk to, or some sort of a gamified uh, uh, e-commerce application where your users can swipe right for items they like and they can swipe left for items they do not like. It's so similar. And on the on the swipe screen, on the swipe screen, on the swipe style, you can easily add more. I mean, you can add more information just like any other, just like the detail screen, which I'm going to show you in a few minutes. And you can add a lot of information. You can even add another list, another style under the swap style. So if I click on it, I could add another style under the swap style. Still the same card, the same card, but you can add a whole lot more under it. You can add a whole lot more information under it. I'm not going to do that. And we can also add, we can add a whole lot more information, like a test, test button under it. Uh, let's add the test. So you can see it displays more tests. But what you, what you want to do is that you don't want to display information that, you don't want to display information that your full phone screen cannot carry. So the less, the, 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 the less the number of information you're displaying, the better your life is going to be. So your users don't have to scroll through before the swipe. So you just want users to be able to look at your application, see what you're doing, and swipe. See the information they need and just swipe. That's what you want them to do, nothing else. So that's it for the, for the style, for the, that's it for the swipe layout. Don't forget if you're building application like probably, um, if you're building application like maybe some sort of a social media application, swipe really, really works a whole lot. Trust me, it does. It does work. So you can like, I'm going to save my last swipe where someplace on my table and then I'm going to save my, I'm going to save my left, left swipe somewhere on the table. And then I'm going to say, this is my option. So this is what I want them to do when they swipe left. And then this is what I want them to do when they swap right. So that's it. That's it. We're going to be, you know, building some application in the future that, that will definitely be, that will definitely use most of these styles and you see how it works really, really good. So let's go to the detail, detail style. Trust me, this is the most important style when it comes to using Glide. The most important style with, on Glide is the detail view. This is where you get to really display data on your spreadsheet. So, so some, somehow when you're creating your Glide homepage, this is what you're going to use. The default homepage style for your Glide will definitely be on the detail view, except you're going to do something else. But 99% of the time, you're going to use the detail view more than the other seven views that you have. In Glide. So for the DTV, you can easily add so many things. You can add 
too many things you can collect too many information on the detail view so all these things that you're seeing here you can add them to the detail view you can add maps you can add images you can add audio you can add videos say for example we want to add map to our screen if we click on it right here you can see we can have map on the screen right there you can add map and the only sh the only column on our spreadsheet that tells that we have that 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 the map can use is the location this it's the location and so it's using it already and i don't want to go to that place it's using it already and that that's basically what it's going to do so it's just the map zoom medium that's just what it does so it's showing the app control which is right here and we're going to say zoom yeah so it's just showing the app control which is right there and so you can add a whole lot more to your to your uh to your screen you can add videos any of these options that you see right here you can add it to your screen any of the options that you see here you can add it to your screen all of it all of it you can add a form just give you a chance to add anything you want to add on your screen from any table so this is the staff table that you can see we can add a list from the location table so to do that just click on the list right here click on this list so so these are just this is a list of stuff right so we could change it to the location so change it to the location and say image details address and the name so you can see we have list of locations right here list of locations these lists can be list relations but we're going to talk about relations later in other episodes of the video but i just want to show you that you can do so much with the list layout so much with the list layout and also when you're when you're fixing your app you can add other styles to this detail style so let me let's let's see let's go to list again click on the list yeah so i just dragged it and the default list right here is is is, is the inline list but we can change it to tiles see see we can change it to tiles right here so you can see so you can see this is the tile layout under the list layout maybe like here i want to display like maybe two and i want to change the title shape to three by two so you can see we are displaying we are just displaying the the list we're displaying a different layout under the detail layout if you say you don't want this type of layout you can easily switch to another type of layout entirely it could be a checklist it could be a card so say for example you're trying to say uh assign tasks to it. You, you want each staff when they click on themselves or you want the admin when they click on the staff to be able to see each task they have so you can easily say okay oh this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna i'm gonna make put a, che a checklist layout under the, the list layout the detail layout and i'll be able to check which of the staff and i'll be able to check which of the staff have done something and which of them have not done anything so that's basically how the data screen work go ahead and explore go ahead and see what you can make out of it but trust me well most of the tutorials that you're going to be watching most of the things we're going to be doing we're going to be using the data screen a whole lot majority 99 percent of the time will be this data screen because that's the way you can you know really display information on glide that's it so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial we talked about the swipe and we talked about the detail screen feel free to leave your comments and your questions below and if you want to sign up for glide click on the link below it will take you to glide glideapps.com and you'll be able to sign up automatically for glide don't forget to subscribe and if you want me to work on the project for you click on you can reach out reach out to me on twitter or simply drop a mail and don't forget to check out my previous video so you can learn a whole lot about glide Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day ahead.